Namaskarams to all. On behalf of the Shruti board, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you to today's special legdem and concert on Sri Shama Shastri by the well-known musician Dr. T. S. Satyavati. Dr. T. S. Satyavati is a highly respected, multifaceted personality, Carnatic vocalist, guru, Sanskrit scholar with special training in Rudangam and musicology. Dr. T. S. Satyavati trained initially under her sister Vidushi Vasanta Madhavi and had her advanced training under Padma Bhushan Sangeeta Kalanadi, Dr. R. K. Shrikantan. She is the recipient of several awards, including the Karnataka Kala Shri Award from the Government of Karnataka, a Special Musicologist Award from the Madras Music Academy, and most recently, the Sangeeta Pracharya Award from Shanmuga Nanda Sabha in Mumbai. She will be accompanied today by her senior disciple, Shilpa Shashidhar, who is a graded artist of All India Radio and Doordarshan. Shilpa is also an MA in music and a gold medalist. On the violin, we have Vidwan Mathur R. Srinidhi. He's a senior violinist, a graded artist of All India Radio, an A grade artist of All India Radio, and has accompanied stalwart musicians like Dr. Balamurli Krishna, Nedanuri Krishnamurti, and T. N. Sheshigopalan. On the Mridangam, we have Vidwan K. U. Jayachandra Rao, who regularly accompanies senior musicians. He's well known for his unique style that combines high precision and aesthetics. He also plays with other percussionists at international music festivals and has performed all over the world. On the Gatam, we have Vidushi Sukanya Ram Gopal. She was one of the first women to take up playing the Gatam. She's an A-top artist of All India Radio and Doordarshan. And she is a student of the legendary Vikku Vinayak Ram and a torchbearer of the Vikku Vinayak Ram Bani. Please sit back and enjoy today's program. And this marks the end of a very successful year of programming for Shruti. We thank you for your support. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you and happy holidays. Yom Tath Pravishya Mamavach Mimam Prasuttam Sanjeeva Yatya Khila Shakti Dharak Swadhamla Anyamscha Hasta Charana Shravanatvadadi Prana Bhagate Purusha Pranams. At the outset, I must thank Shruti, the organization which has organized this very special program, a leg dim concert, a new concept actually, comprising the compositions of a single composer that is Chama Shastri. On behalf of all my highly accomplished co-artists, Vidwan Mathur Srinidhi on the violin, Vidwan K.U. Jaychandra on the Mridanga, Vidushi Sukanya Ramgopal on Ghatan, and my own very senior disciple, Vidushi Srimati Shilpa Shashidhar. I offer my sincere thanks to all office bearers of this wonderful organization for giving us this unique opportunity. With folded hands in humility, I welcome you all, request all of you to join us on this singular journey, a journey through the soulful compositions of 
Shama Shastri, the eldest among the trinity of Karnataka music. This is a humble effort to explore and experience the rare beauty of the gems of compositions that this wonderful composer has given to us, wherein both Nada and Laya find an exquisite expression, an exquisite expression which is sometimes beyond any explanation, beyond words. He is supposed to have composed over 300 compositions, though the available ones hardly touch a hundred, hardly touch a hundred. A very sad state of things. It's very unfortunate that we have not been able to procure all that he composed, perhaps due to the lack of a an incessant, what you call a Shishya Parampara. He is not supposed to have a Shishya Parampara like Dikshitar had or Tyagaraja Swami had. That may be one of the reasons why his compositions, all of his, are not documented and propagated like the others. And what remains with us today is just the triad of the exemplary Swarajatis, very few Varanas and a small bunch of compositions. But this is sufficient for anyone to digest through ages. That is the kind of profound music that exists in these compositions, all in a capsule form. The kind of equipment that Shamashastri had, both in Shastra and Prayoga of music, it is unmatched. And everything is directed, dictated, controlled by a single feel that is his unstinted devotion to Kamakshi, Goddess Kamakshi. He surrenders himself, he, he subjugates himself, he offers everything that belongs to him at the lotus feet of Bhagavati. Who is Kamakshi for him, Meenakshi for him, and any uh, Kshetradhi uh, Devata, he calls her by several names. And more than anything, she is my Amma for him. She is Amma. See, when once you say Mother, absolutely there is no, what you call, inhibition or hindrance to the child's expression. It is spontaneous. At the same time, no one can question the sincerity of his utmost devotion. He claims to have beheld the lotus feet of the goddess not once, but several times. He says, Ni pada padma darshanamu vemaru labhinchi krutar thudanaiti. Yemo tolinomu no chitino. I don't know what vows and what vratas I did in my previous janmas. So vemaru means not just once. Ni pada padma darshanamu vemaru labhinchi krutar thudanaiti. So he was blessed with the uh, unquestioned experience of beholding the lotus feet of the goddess, words can be, speech can be questioned, not experience. Experience can never be questioned and especially when it comes from a composer like Shama Shastri. He had a direct communion with the goddess. That spiritual connect that he had with the goddess inspired him to say to sing in her praise 
which ordinary composers can never dream of matching so the exemplary compositions here we go and this being a lectum concert you have speech and you have some illustrations demonstrations of snatches from some of his compositions relevant to the occasion and then they are all interspersed with full length songs presented in the concert pattern so to begin with we have a varna very few varnas of his are available to us and this one is very very special because it is in raga begada a rakti raga full of nuances full of delicate flourishes which are all tackled with adeptness with that expertise which is very hard to conceive when you listen to the composition you will find for yourself how raga begade comes alive in every sanchara every sangati how that emphasis which that madhyama deserves is given its due and the structuring that is also very very special after the charana you have four swaras the fourth swara is only of five avartas which is not common it is not usually found in varnas usually it is four avartas or two avartas uh, six avartas or eight even perhaps and one more speciality is that it comes back to the pallavi that is one of the old traditions so in varna the same is found in bhairavi varna also atatala varna you have an anubandha it comes back to viriboni so here again the fifth uh, fourth swara comes back to in five avartas comes back to the pallavi dayanidhe mamava sada shyama krishna poojite it is in sanskrit i need to say a few things about his language expertise in language he had a perfect hold over all three languages sanskrit telugu and tamil all three but most of his compositions are in telugu because that was his mother tongue when he is talking to his mother he has to speak in her tongue <laughs> so the mother tongue is telugu and then a few compositions in tamil and a few more number of compositions in sanskrit so we today begin with a sanskrit composition dayanidhe mamava sada shyama krishna poojite bhayapaharini shri rajarajeshwari palita jana sura muni gana samudaye lalita pada yugale kamaniya kandhare papa shamani sahrdaya sammodita mahaniya sugunalaye vitara bhaktim me all that he is asking her is to give him that unswerving devotion that fixity of mind parama pavani bhavani he praises her as parama pavani bhavani and uh, it has a swara and sahitya also after the pallavi and anupallavi
one of the bright compositions begda itself takes this brightness and the brightness is also because of that beautiful madhyama and the structuring it is kanta prabha kanta prabha very very pleasingly brilliant very pleasant it is at the same time lively very bright shama shastri's mindset was always favoring rakti ragas rakti ragas or those which do not run by mere notes or scale uh, i keep saying this you should not read between notes you should read or no sing beyond notes see through the notes beyond the notes so the very special gamakas which are particular to a certain raga they have to be most judiciously handled so so that they ooze out the essence of the bhava the raga bhava comes out only when the gamakas are used in a most apt appropriate manner so then that raga is called rakti raga we have a number of such rakti ragas and uh, uh, shama shastri comes out with several of them apart from the ones we are going to illustrate apart from the ones he has a purvi kalyani again all these are rakti ragas kedara gaula todi varali bhairavi arabhi nata janaranjani natakuranji dhanyasi and so on the very opening line itself has to bring out the best of the raga this was the concept of that class of composers so uh, who always thought of visualizing the raga rather than approaching the raga it is realizing or visualizing the raga within themselves and the expression is automatic it is as simple as that and here we go with a few rakti ragas snatches of which will be presented now number 1 is shankara bharana a very famous very popular composition just observe how the very pallavi brings out the structure of the raga सर्वोज दन नेत्री मगिरे पुत्री daivata supporting panchama it is not gama da pa no it is unlike uh, begade tadara rana tadara rana a that is begade tadari rana tadara appeal totally different from vegade though it is the same swaras almost all swaras just the same and now we have that madhyamavati in that the charana last portion 
ಕನಕ ಗಿರಿ ಸದನ ಲಲಿತ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಭಜನ ಸಂ ಪಲ್ಸೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾವತಿ ಅನ್ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ರಿಷಭ ಇನ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಗ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಗ ಇಮ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ವರಾಕ್ಷರ ಪಾಲಿಂಚು ಪಾಯಿ ಸಿನ್ ಮಂದ್ರಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಪ ಪಾಲಿಂಚು ಕಾಕ್ಷಿ ಪ ಪಾ ಎಗೇನ್ ಎನ್ ಅದರ್ ಸ್ವರಾಕ್ಷರ ಪಾವನಿ ದಟ್ ಪಾವನಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಪಾವನಿ ದ ಫೀಲ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ಯಾಮಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೀಸ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಲಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆವೋಷನ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ ಐಯೋಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಹೀ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಭಗವತಿ and we must devote ourselves to him shama shastri because his visualizing of the raga is total and complete it comes full comes out full so is there any sanchara which is out of madhyamavati or is there any doubt when we take up this ta ri ra ra i don't have to go up to tara shadja at all within this the entire raga is there and saveri again in other rakti raga that rishabh how he handles that shankari shankuru chandra is in rishabha again swarakshara the hundreds of swarakshara he comes out with and all not crafted deliberately it's so spontaneous when it automatically it comes so shankari and shamkuru so both are shankari only but one shankari is her name another shankari is the one who brings auspiciousness sham karoti ti shankari so whenever he wants to Uh, sing in Sanskrit. He brings in a chaste Sanskrit. Beautiful Sanskrit he brings. Another Janani Natajana Palini again in Saveri. Suranuta Vasupada Vikasita Miga 
मम गात्र मात्रजनी सूरनी सूरनूत वसुपद दर्शित मीघ मम सुरनुता ओ वन प्रेज बै सुर आल गाड्स वसुपद गोलन फीट वसुपद दर्शित वेन् युवर गोलन फीट ईज बिहेड बै मी वेन् इट ईज शोर प्रेजेंटेड बिफोर मै इनर ईज और फिजिकल ईज मम गात्र अतिमात्रजनी इट्स ए वेरी वेरी रेर कैंड ऑफ एन एक्सप्रेशन इन संस्कृत दट अजनी दट वर्ब मै बाडी हेज स्वेल लाइक इन जॉय मम गात्र अतिमात्रजनी सो सुरनुत वसुपद दर्शित मिह मम गात्र अतिमात्रजनी सुजनी जननी द एलिट्रेशन ब्यूटिफुल आदि प्रास द्वितीय अक्षर प्रास अंत्याक्षर प्रास दे आल जस्ट फ्लो इट्स नॉट अ ए डेलिबरेट वॉट यू कॉल मेडिटेटेड एंड वोवन वर्ड्स दे आर जस्ट लाइक दैट बिकॉज द फील इज सो सिंसियर वेरी वेरी सिंसियर फीलिंग एंड इन बोथ दीज कॉम्पोजिशन वी आर गोइंग टू कम बैक टू दिस कॉम्पोजिशन ए लिटिल लेटर ऑलसो जननी एंड यदुकुल कांबोजी स्वर जति यू ऑल नो हाउ द वेरी ओपनिंग पल्लवी comes out with a, a full yadukola kamboji as against a kamboji that is it mm. <coughs> drops from rishaba bad ri 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 pa so this is not in kamboji tadaranana tanari and anand bhairavi is his next favorite next only to kalyani out of the compositions that we have got today nine of them are in kalyani and six as far as i mean the uh, statistics goes six of them are in anand bhairavi so we are going to just sing snatches of two anand bhairavis just find out the kind of uh, control that he has over this raga and he loves the raga is very evident from the way he treats it pada yugam madilo dalachi kori मद 
gaja gamana whenever he uses this uh, phrase he uses seven matras mada gaja gamana he never mada gaja no elongation at all always it is seven so same thing you have in talani ga vinu mada gaja gamana tamasamu ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ದ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಟು ತಾಳಿಕ ವೀಣು ಮದ ಗ ಜ ಗ ಮನ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಮದ ಗಜ ಗ ಮನ ದ ಜಾಸ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ನೆ ಮೆಜೆಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಗೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಎನ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಅಲೈವ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫ್ರೇಸ್ this phrase itself brings before you the kind of that beautiful majestic gate of the goddess so that is mada gajagamana pada yugam madilo dalachi kori according to some he uses all the three bhashanga prayogas shuddha daivata antara gandhara and kakali nishada but according to another school of thought he does not he uses only sadharana gandhara chaturshuti daivata and kaishiki nishada only both are there so here that way uh, antara gandhara cannot be used here ವೀನು ಮದ ಗಜ ಗ ಮನ ಪರುಲ ನೂತಿ kutuhala one who is always keen on protecting those who surrender to her natavana kutuhala nivega marivere other than you who else can protect me nivega uh, not uh, rarely great composers like uh, all all trinity all three of them they use a single matra for a double matra lyric so you have to accommodate na 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 ni vega it should be sung as ni vega just one swara is given but you have to accommodate that dairghya in ni ni vega mari so these are all subtle interpretations and in mm pahi shri giri raja sute karuna agalite pada saroja manusarami te amba pahi shri sa pa sa ni da pa with this you can bring out the raga you cannot sing any other raga than ananda bhairavi after having sung this sa pa sa ni da pa that's all ta ra ra na ta da ra na no ri ra na it goes to nishada in the mantra sthayi to say that 
usually we do not have any sanchara below nishada in ananda bhairavi whereas riti gaula takes up to panchama in the lower ananda bhairavi stops at nishada so as if to indicate that as if a pointer to this point he the ra ra he stops there pad saroj manusarami te ye ye beautiful ananda bhairavi comes like this when we spoke of uh, ananda bhairavi we have to speak of about riti gaula riti gaula is again another rakti raga in which he has composed just that is whatever is available to us just one composition in rupakatala we have ninnu vina marigalada we are going to sing that composition as i said earlier it takes a sanchara in the lower octave also very beautiful same gandhara rishabha of ananda bhairavi is here again same daivata nishada is here again but they are totally different ragas the approach and treatment are entirely different so you will see how uh, riti gaula comes out here त <coughs> <coughs> ಚತುರ್ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಕೈಶಿಕ ನಿಷಾದ ಸೇಮ್ ಶುದ್ಧ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೀತಿ ಗೌಡ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಗಾಂಧಾರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಷಬ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಇನ್ ಆನಂದ ಭೈರ್ವಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಿಗಾರಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ತ ಿ ಗಾಯ 
multiple charanas in most of his compositions this also has several charana we chose only two to demonstrate and this is a very uh, rare kind of a composition wherein you have the charanas in the same dhatu as that of the anupallavi though it is mentioned as anupallavi that is pannaga bhushanu nirani what we sang later namadilo amba it is exactly the same as the anupallavi dhatu so this is one way of uh, having the charanas so charana need not have a different dhatu from anupallavi is also 
uh, illustrated here and i know you would have certainly made out the difference between uh, nananda bhairavi and reeti gaula both are rakti ragas both have the almost the same notes if you don't use the bhashanga prayoga in nananda bhairavi it is more or less like uh, reeti gaula it may appear to be but no it is not so so that was illustrated and now we move on to the taala laya brahma who chose to express himself in an exemplary manner in his favorite taala over which he had total mastery the in and out of that is mishra chapu the seven matra taala oh it is seven sometimes it is 14 taken on the whole or it is 28 i don't know that is amazing and when i say 28 it is not 7 into 4 there are so many internal combinations that he makes out of that 70 28 and out of 14 and he comes on the landing like you know just in a thud and he is so playful with it. he has fun he plays games with the raga that is the kind of uh, ease he has that is because of the expertise the ease comes out of expertise you have several several compositions set to this tala among his compositions and i need not elaborate much we go on illustrating one after the other until we come to the composition that we are going to present as a part of the concert you will know how the divisions are manipulated how the structuring is so beautifully handled managed number 1 is bhairavi swarajati which is a very very popular swarajati everybody knows that the raga moves in the sopana krama from this shadja to the tara shadja in that we have chosen the gandhara swara <coughs> gamagare sarini sani sariga mapagare gamavadamagare sani sani gariga mapada and that grip in the first three matras kumbha kucha mada and that mada goes with matta kumbha kucha mada mata that means as sahitya when mada goes with matta it is 5 and 2 it is not 3 and 4 स्वरावाइज इट इज थ्री एंड फोर गरी स्वरा सो दिस ऑल्सो आई हैव पॉइंटेड आउट फ्रॉम सेवरल प्लेटफॉर्म्स वाई डू वी हैव टू सिंग द स्वरा एंड साहित्य सेपरेटली वाई नॉट ओनली द स्वरा और ओनली द साहित्य दे आर नॉट मेन टू बी सो दे आर मेन टू बी संग सेपरेटली with their own patterns it need it doesn't clash at all 
same thing with the pancharatna krutis of tyagaraja so we are we should not play especially on instruments the same note patterns twice <laughs> the sahitya division is totally different those who know the sahitya alone can play the sahitya when they are playing it for the second time so agreed yes thank you <laughs> so uh, here kumbh kuch madamat gajagam padma padma that is not padma padma bhava again it is five padma bhava harisham bhu nuta pad that means he is alternating between five and two three two and two alternating between so alternate uh, avartas have this pattern shambhu nuta pad shankari he changes the pattern shanka do that three is there intact shankari nevo three two and one here nevo na chintalu chintalu ve vega again five ve vega dircham mai pudu this only he can conceive only shama shastri can conceive this it is our fortune that we are able to notice this that's all and when you feel it you don't have to analyze when you are singing this is what i keep saying when i am singing i never analyze and shama shastri never did and all his compositions most of his compositions perhaps he composed before he gets into a trance he composes a composition and then he gets into the samadhi sthiti mayamma yani ne pilachite matlaada raada he cannot sing this when he is in samadhi sthiti he sings this composes this ama why don't you speak to me then he perhaps feels that she is there with him and she has come to have a dialogue with him so this is how so no analysis is possible when you are singing no analysis should be there so it is either before or analysis is something different when singing it is only the feel it is only the emotion it is only the experience all blended together taala the divisions the kala pramana the laya sahitya its divisions everything combined together comes as a capsule as a whole so this is kumbha kuchamada matta gajagam apadma bhava hari shambhu nutapad shankari neevu na chintala ve vega dircamma ipudu there the bandha also changes Shank- from shankari it changes till then it is with that grip and look at the beauty of 5 and 2 in the edukula kambhoji pavani purahuni ramani parvati sagala it out and she that is again very beautiful structuring here sahitya wise it is not 5 and 2 it is 7 pavani swara wise it is 5 and 2 pa mapa so while singing the swara give a stress on mapa 
it sounds very good but while singing vani don't do that pa vani pura that interface this is this i call sandarshanam sandarshana it is not just analyzing it is not analysis it is uh, with face to face with that great music that's it so sandarshana su- sukha it is sandarshana sukha 5 and 2 very beautifully done and he is the one to have introduced a very special technique called viloma in this mishra same it is mishra chapu only he is, you, you can call it he takes from atita but he doesn't maintain that atita in the take off point of either the anupallavi or the charana he may have a two matras from the starting avarta and then take up the anupallavi likewise one or two take up the charana but comes back to the same point where he began the pallavi so in a division of 3 and 4 that we have he starts from takadimi 4 and in the anupallavi or charana he may start from a different point but that anupallavi and charana conclude and converge so beautifully to come and join the take off of viloma so that is called viloma chapu viloma chapu is not a different thada it is a variety of mishra chapu that is all okay now you will listen to the uh, illustration Meena Lochana in Raga Dhanyasi again in other Rakti Raga. Beautiful Ragas. Gana Vino other than what is there in the composition just practice one composition like this you get a perfect feel of danyasi whatever raga so and uh, the kala pramana when we talk of kala pramana 
most of his compositions are to be sung in a slow tempo they are not to rush any high bp will come down after singing a shama shastri composition and the movement is majestic and it is elevating in impact the impact is elevating so if somebody is in a hurry to sing and finish off shama shastri's compositions perhaps see i never talk of doing justice to the composer it is trying to comprehend the composer composition it's never doing justice is not in our hands we can never do justice to compositions of any such great composers so slow i will come to that after i have sung a viloma chapu kriti that is nannu brovu lalita in beautiful lalita raga like his lyric lalita kanta komala padavali this lalita raga is so lalitya purna it's a lilting very melodious very gently handled soft for this i always give an example of the marjara kishora nyaya marjara is the cat and how the cat carries her kitten in her mouth between her jaws she has a perfect grip she never lets the kitten fall fall off and it's her responsibility to take care and it is like the god god always takes care of his bhakta so totally surrender that prapatti like shama shastri she will take care like the cat that is called marjara kishora nyaya kishora will have no responsibility everything is handled by the cat and i am talking of the that hold or the grip so shama shastri's grip of on raga and thala is like that of a marjara carrying the kitten so it is firm at the same time gentle that is it so lalita is so beautifully done and in that you will see you will observe the division of the um, aksharas sahitya akshara within a frame of 14 or 28 so it is i mean beyond our uh, uh, sometimes it it is so difficult for us to conceive so it is so beautifully done and sounds so natural for him it is so natural comes with ease so lalita <clears throat> full of jarugamakas and holds a mirror to the soft nature of shama shastri his heart so it is so soft and because jaru that is the slides they are in plenty abundant jarus in lalita and they come up like this tadar
Next, we move on to another section of the rare ragas. He has come up with very rare ragas, like nobody else has composed a composition in this raga. For instance, a kalgada or a manji. Along with that, you have chintamani also. And uh, <clears throat> the space that he makes use of to the best advantage of expressing his devotion to the goddess, he has come up with a beautiful nilambari, apart from Manji. A very beautiful nilambari. We will sing just one snatch of that, just to show how the space has been utilized. Space of the Tala. Same Mishra Chapu. Unhurried pace. Mm. Mm. Bro, You don't feel full. So to feel full after having sung a composition of this, we have to go slow. Go closer to Shama Shastri's mood, Shama Shastri's pace. It is an appeal that he is having. He is uh, placing before her very meekly, submissively an application. Mm -hmm. So when you apply, you don't throw it like this. You have to be very meek and submissive and humble, very humble. Brove Vamma and Banga Rubamma as if he is touching her chin and you are a Bangar doll. It is trying to please her. So beautiful. The music and lyric, they go together because it comes out with that sincere emotion. So they both come together. And the rare raga, Kalgada. Mm. That uh, Kruti, she sings from the Anu Pallavi and comes to the Pallavi. All very brief. Mm.
one may to say which are the salient characteristic traits features of shama shastri's compositions first thing that strikes my mind is that carve that vishranti wherein you have an apparent feeling of having lot of scope for bringing in your music no <laughs> if at all there is scope it has to be filled with his music only his own music we cannot bring in our own stuff there uh, people think that uh, these carways are there for us to fill no he should allow us to fill he should inspire us to fill with whatever raga he has already given us so that carway pa arvati ninu ne and that suguna shale again suguna ja padani da pa that shuddha daivata and shuddha nishada which is a very very special people say that uh, vivadi swaras are jarring no when it is brought with taste the taste is very important you should know when to bring it and how much of it so uh, when i speak of music i am tempted to say this see we have ghana and naya this belong to the category of naya because there is lalitya and madhurya when there is lalitya and madhurya you have naya when you have khachitya and gambhirya khachitya is that authenticity and that clarity surety you have when you have khachitya and gambhirya you have ghana so lalitya madhurya khachitya and gambhirya to top all these you have auchitya that's what i wanted to draw so if there is auchitya when and how and how much and what then there is saundarya and that is panditya <laughs> that is panditya it is not just taala it is not just the speed nothing when you have all these then that scholarship comes to the fore so in shama shastri we have all these <laughs> he knows that ter he doesn't use the same from the beginning till the end it means it just as a streak of lightning just as uh, we call it uh, vidyullata that vidyullata like that it comes that it's a beautiful way of bringing in that uh, sangati and you have ahiri sarasi jabhav hari haranut sulalitani sound like repetition at all he has himself used namiti tr- thrice and the two words there sthiramani namiti 
I have realized that your feet alone can undoubtedly grant me my wish. That I have held on tight. I shall not leave your feet. Sthiramani nammiti 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 Sthiramani 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 nammiti Sthiramani nammiti sthiramani nammiti Sthiramani nammiti nammiti sthiramani Whatever. Each time the power is reinforced. It comes with greater power each, each time because of the emotion. You feel that yes, Amma, your feet alone. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. So, Sthiramani nammiti nammiti and Niyamba That car way Niyamba You can fill it with this kind of Sangati Which alone is permissible Niyamba Can't do that See, that again is auchitya. Just because we know Ahiri, we cannot bring in all Sangatis. No, whatever the Kriti takes. My Guru always used to say, whenever you are adding a Sangati of your own to the already existing structure or frame of a composition, you have to get into meditative mood. That Dhyana Sthiti, you have to go to and then come out with it then you will know for yourself whether that Sangati is acceptable to the Kriti or it kicks out. In Kannada, he used to say, Vadiyate. Otherwise, it will kick it off. So, that is the kind of cautiousness that has to be exerted. So, exercise. That, that is an exercise by itself. And uh, how he comes back to that Mayamma. Mayam Mayani Pilachite in the Shadja. How how do you call out a person in all fervor? That Martlada. The spacing is unbelievably mesmerizing. Matlada. Only three syllables used in the entire four into four, sixteen matras. Fitted in that sixteen matras. And the raga is, comes in a sweep like this. That curvature, that arch, that is something that is to be wondered at and just enjoyed. Just enjoyed. He says at one place, Mayamma yani ne dalachi. Mayamma yani ne dalachi. Maati maati ki kanniru viduvaleda. Have I not shed tears thinking about you, singing in your praise? Maati maati ki that artata, that ardrata. His heart is wet with the devotion. Wet with devotion. So, and singing a Brova Vamma Tamasamele, Are Mayamma, 
naturally tears tears fill your eyes if we are a sahridaya if we can go with him certainly uh, so um, similar is the brovavamma tamasa mele that is in uh, manji before singing a portion of brovavamma chintamani again a very rare raga it is something like bhairavi with a pratimadhyama in the aroha you have chaturshruti in the avroha you have shuddha daivata a janya of shanmukha priya devi bro samaya mi de ati vegame vachi de samayamide that history goes like when bobbili keshavaya challenged the vidwans of tanjavuru with a uh, uh, pallavi in simhanandana taala uh, 128 aksharas matras then shama shastri composes this composition and places before the feet of goddess and uh, pleads with her uphold the dignity of the state by giving him the ability to quash to defeat the arrogant visiting vidwan then he composes a pallavi in sharabhanandana taala with 79 matras and each avarta having 19 three fourths so four avartas of that four units of that make 879 so that's how and he does it extempore they say so that is the time when he composed devi brova samayamide ati vegame vachi na vetalu he takes others vetha as na vetha so na vetalu dirchi karunin pave shankari kamakshi and brova vamma also in manji it is similar to bhairavi but different from bhairavi and that again the difference is brought by the jaru gamakas more of them and that slow tempo bro vavam ma tamas me le pamamari that gandhara is so insignificant it uh, takes shelter in the uh, what you call canopy of madhyama tamar bro vam tamas me I have to 
to stop. Le. This Madhyama is very special to Manji. Le. Ma. Ma. No. Le. That is the Madhyama. It is used in Madhyama. Devi Talale. Sangatis are there. Devi Tale That Gagar is a which perhaps you feel is common to both Manji and Bhairavi, but it is not the same way it is done. That is Bhairavi. It is caressing. That guy is so soft and gentle and smooth and tender. <laughs> That's enough. So that is Brovavamma. Same, that pace. Brovavamma tamasame Yes, you may feel happy by singing it in this pace, but slower the better. And some people think that when the Sahitya says, Brova Vamma Tamasamele, Birana, come quickly and protect me quickly, and you also should sing it fast. No. It is an appeal. That appeal is always slow. Amma, please, you say. Please, Amma. No. Please, when you are pleading that P L E A S E will be P L E A A S E E. So that is how it should be understood. So now we move on to another aspect of his compositions that is lot of scope for nervul. That is because there are so many Vishranti sthanas which now you can certainly fill with your Saveri or with your Kalyani or with your Anandabari, whatever is given by him in the composition. So, uh, to illustrate one or two such very beautiful plays, Sthayi-wise, Sahitya-wise, Structure-wise, Pace-wise. So, these are the four aspects that make your Sahitya Vinyasa really worthy of it. Now, Sati Shubha Charite Sada Madhura Bhashini That Bhashini, Madhura Bhashini, there is a lot of scope for bringing in the different contours of this Raga. And likewise you have Madhava Sodhari Gauri Amba That's the 
next carve it is not madhav sodari gauri madhav स्वराक्षर can do nerval for sariyavaramma ambani also and this madhav madhyama and daivata again swarakshara madhav swarakshara that beautiful amalgamation of music and lyric comes here sumeru madhya vasini most favorite raga kalyani rupakatala and the uh, himadri sute pa himayam varade parade structure wise and mood wise pace wise tala wise this is almost the same as birana varalichi usually birana varalichi is sung in trishra nade adi tala whereas himadri sute pahimam do having the same take off point is sung set to rupaka tala leaving out the first ghata tak himadri sute pahim parade parade vate himadri sute pahim birana varali chi is also the same but he would have certainly composed it on different occasions and his mood is always appealing to the goddess to come and protect him quickly so it is a refrain the mood this mood is the permanent mood not sanchari bhava it is the sthayi bhava it is the permanent mood emotion the, the devotion so he i mean to um emphasize that his most favorite raga is kalyani we have taken two krutis in kalyani one comes at the end as the mangala kruti one and only mangala kruti in kalyani in khanda atatala madhyama kala and now we are going to sing virana varalichi in a very brief manner ತ 
comes the concluding item of the concert. Shankari, Shankari, Karunakari, Raja Rajeshwari, Sundari, Paratpari, Gauri. All Antyakshara Prasa, very beautifully brought. Pankajadala Netri, Giri Raja Kumari, Paramapavani, Bhavani, Sada Shiva Kutumbini, Shyama Krishna Sodari, Shishum Maam Paripalaya Shankari. I am a child. Shishum Maam Paripalaya. Kari Mukha Kumara Janani. Mother of Kari Mukha Ganesha and Kumara. Katyayani Kalyani. The Raga Mudra also. Not deliberately because he doesn't uh, have it as a prerogative I mean, or a compulsory thing to come up in his lyric, the Raga Mudra. Here it comes naturally. Sarva Chitta Bodhini Tattva Jnana Rupini Sarva Lokaya Disha Mangalam Jaya Mangalam Shubha Mangalam That is the Mangala Kriti. <coughs> Shankari Shankari Karuna Kari Raja Raja
When Shamashastri had the total grace of the Supreme Goddess, he did not seek to depend on any kings. Those were the days when kings were very powerful and wielding their influence on everybody. Then he says, Naradha mulanu maharajulani bogadi durashache tirigi vesari ilalo Virajamukhi, Nivu Dayato Kapadi, Virana Varamiyave, Giri Raja Sutta. He had, Shastri Garu had the uh, resolve to spurn all offers. And it, it was divan by his supreme faith in the divine grace, in the divine protection that he enjoyed always. But didn't he have any wish? Yes, he did have. If he had a wish at all, it was to have the best of poetic ability, poetic creativity, so that he can praise his mother better and go closer to her easily. Kavana nipuna matim ayi disha tava kantim upayatum. In order that I shall. Come closer to your effulgence, your brilliance, your kanti, your aura. Bestow upon me the ability to create poetry, fine poetry. That was his wish. And uh, beautiful lilting expression, the words. Just an example here. Mrudu komala padavali Jala mela shaila bala tala jalanu janani Ninuvina 
పాలనార్థముగ వేరే దైవముల లోలమతియై నమ్మితిన నీలనుత శీలమునే నెచ్చుటనైన గాన గాన లోల హృదయ నీలకంఠరాణి నిను నమ్మితిని నిజంబుగ బలికేది దయచేసి ఎన్నేరమూ ఉన్నామం ఉరైప్పదే ఎన్నేమం అన్నయే కరుణ చూడవమ్మా వినవమ్మా శ్రితజన కల్పవల్లి మాతల్లి మరకతాంగి పంచనదీశురాణి మధురవాణి ధర్మ సంవర్ధిని ఈజ్ దెర్ ఎనీ ఎఫర్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సచ్ అన్ ఎఫర్ట్లెస్ ఫ్లో ఈజ్ అన్ దిస్ కవితాశక్తి ఇట్ ఈస్ కవితాశక్తి సుప్రీం ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇన్ఫ్యూజ్డ్ అండ్ ఇన్స్పైర్డ్ అండ్ టోటలీ ఫిల్డ్ విత్ ద ట్రూ డెవోషన్ ట్రూ డెవోషన్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఎ గ్రేట్ ఆపర్చునిటీ ఐ షుడ్ సే వన్ ఆఫ్ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ హ్యాడ్ ఇన్ అవర్ లైఫ్ టు హ్యావ్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ అ సందర్శన of the gems of compositions of one of the excellent composers that Karnataka music has seen so far, Shama Shastri. Pranams and pranams and pranams to him once again from all of us. Thank you.